Welcome to Still Works and Brewing. My name is Randy, and this is a channel that's all about home distillation and brewing. Okay, so today we're going to make a peach oat whiskey. This is kind of a, an experimental for me. It's my first time trying this recipe out. I'm kind of designing it. Uh, so I think it's going to be pretty good. So we're going to combine the great taste of oat and peaches. All right, you're not going to want to miss this, so uh, let's get started. Well, as I always ask you, please, if you have time, please hit that subscribe button. Uh, hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything. Share us with your friends. Give us a thumbs up and leave a comment, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. All right, so now let's get started. All right, so the very first thing we're going to need to do is we need to warm up some water. Uh, I like to get... Uh, about, I'll, I'll warm up about nine gallons just so I have it on hand. And I'll raise it up to the temperature about, about 165 should do it. Um, I'm on well water. My, well, my water tastes fantastic. But I do run it through a, a whole house carbon filter just in case. And it's been working for me very well. Okay, so let's get this pot filled up and get some heat under it. And we'll start warming up and then we'll move on. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get, uh, I guess, about three and a half. Probably might even end up with four gallons of water to start off with. Start off with. It is at 165. Because I know as soon as I... As soon as I drop my grain in, it's going to drop down. And if it does drop down too much, I mean, the magic number I want is somewhere between, uh, was it, uh, 143 and 155. Uh, that's where I would like my magic number to be. Get up my mash paddle here. All right, now this fl this is flake corn, so it's already been gelatini gelatinized. All right, so I'll just it all go in the same time as my grain. So there's my corn. All right, now the next thing I want to put in is going to be my rolled oats. It's pretty much the same thing. Best thing to do is make sure you get it all stirred in so we don't get no dough balls and all that good stuff. The six row. All Just add a little bit more water. The corn and the oats will really thicken this mash up. I 
Okay. So, what I'm going to do, because I know that this is going to get real, real thick and gooey, I'm going to add in a little bit of uh, rice hulls just to help keep everything all separated. Get this mixed in. What we need to do is we need to check, check our temperature. Uh, we might have dropped down. One fifty three. I'm gonna leave her right there, okay? Let me give it another good stir. Another good stir. One more temperature check just to be safe. 153. Okay, let me show you this before I uh, close her up. Yeah, pretty thick. Okay, that's our mash. All right. Okay, so we got our mash in here. We got it closed up. It's at 153 degrees. Now, granted, it's going to cool down, so it should be perfect. Uh, we're going to set our timer for about an hour and a half and let that uh, conversion of them starches over into sugars, and that's what we want. So, uh, like I said, we'll give her an hour and a half, and we'll be back. But there's things just still to do while we're waiting on this, and then we'll move on to that. Okay, so let's get these peaches ready while we're waiting for our mash to mash in. Uh, I've already washed them. Basically, all we're going to do is cut them up a little bit. <laughs> Put them in a the food processor. They're good, smelling good peaches. Whoops. Slippery little things. One more. Yeah, make sure the stems are out. They are nice and ripe. Okay. Bring it over here. We'll just add a little bit of water.
That's how this goes on. There we go. Okay. We're going to do this with the rest of the peaches. We'll add it into the fermenter. All right, so let me get this done, then I'll be back. Okay, it's been about an hour and a half. I want to do a little starch test to make sure that uh, our conversion took place. So what we want is just a little bit of the, just a little bit of the liquid out. Sometimes that's a challenge to get. Okay. So what we'll do, we got a little bit of liquid out. So what I'll do is put a drop. Let me get you so you can see this. Let me tilt the camera down so you can see this. I right, see the liquid. Put a drop, maybe two. You give her a little shake. Ooh. See how it's still black? I might have to give her a little bit more time. Well, wait a minute. You shake it around. It goes back to the original color. It goes back to the original color. Okay, so it did go back to its original color. So that means the conversion is done. So now we can uh, move on to the next step. All right. And the next step is, 
we're going to sparge over into our uh, fermenter, which we already have our slurry of, of peaches in there. Okay, so we have our slurry of peaches in there. So what we'll do is we'll batch sparge this. We'll let this all run out. We'll close the valve. We'll put hot water back into there, give her a quick stir. And we'll keep doing that until we collect our six gallons. Okay, so let me get this done, then I'll be back. Okay, so let's check our specific gravity. Give her a good stir. And I just want a little bit of, I try to get, because it does have peach hunks in it, so I want to try to make sure I just got the clear liquid. And we are looking at 155. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I got two pounds of brown sugar here. I got two pounds of brown sugar. I'm going to mix it in. I'm going to get the uh, that all nice and stirred in and the mash is still warm so it be easily Get that stirred in and we'll uh, check our specific gravity again. on that one. Let me try it again. Okay. Okay. So I did add four pounds of brown sugar and I am looking at 182. That's, that's beautiful for me. I'm going to leave it right there. 182. I did check my pH. I got it at 5.4. I did had to add a little bit of uh, baking soda just to boost her up just a little bit, but I got her at 5.4. So the next thing that we will have to do, I know she's a little bit warm, uh, 124 degrees. So what I'll have to do is let her cool down a little bit. We'll add our yeast. And then uh, we'll let it ferment probably a couple weeks. And then we'll move on to the next step. Uh, I'm thinking this is going to be pretty fantastic. The smell is fantastic. Okay. Okay, so this is our peach oat whiskey mash. Okay. Uh, I, I think it went as planned. Um, so we'll let this ferment out for a couple weeks and then we'll distill it. And then I think what we're going to do, uh, because I want a good peach flavor on this, is we'll age it on some oak and I think I'll get some more peaches, slice them in half, throw them in there and let that, let that stay in there for a couple more weeks just for a little bit more peach flavor, I'm thinking. Uh, so. 
come back around for that. Uh, I think it's going to be pretty interesting. Okay. Last thing I got to say is, hey, thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you next time on Still Works and Brewing.